So let's start here in Cape Coral with a powerful story that has spanned over months. Behind me in the city of Cape Coral's Public Works building, people inside got to learn what the city wants to do when it comes to redesigning JC Park in Cape Coral. And then they were able to share with them their concerns or their positive feedback face to face. So to gauge how people felt before they went into the open house, I asked them to share with me what their expectations were. And then once the open house was over, I asked them to share them with me again. Take a listen. Before anyone stepped inside. I have very low expectations. Those looking to learn more about JC Park development laid out for me what they need to hear from city leaders. Going into the open house, what do you need to hear? Well, I need to see exactly what they have in mind. I'm looking at their plans. The city's plan, which is now 30% complete, was on a full display at the city of Cape Coral's open house. It would be lovely to have a back and forth. That's that's. I think is one of the major things that is lacking at this time. A discussion on ideas like adding more parking spaces, a band shell, and a restaurant bistro that would sell alcohol at JC Park. All highly contested ideas that I brought to Cape's assistant city manager. When all of this is said and done, will JC Park turn from this quiet neighborhood park into a booze filled entertainment center? Because that's a real concern for him. Well, no. Connie Barron says she understands that for many. This is the neighborhood favorite, and they don't want to see a change. The future is green space. The future is not more bars. This will eliminate so much space, and the shelters are smaller, and people will not be able to gather. So they're taking it away from the taxpayers. The bar area that everyone is concerned about is a very small, small piece of actually the park. The hours are going to be reasonable hours. They're not going to be open until 2 o'clock to try to entertain frat parties or anything like that. But by the end of the open house, when I checked back in with Kathy Lopez, who started out the evening with low expectations. Has anything changed for you? It's, it's dropped lower. It appears more needs to be done by the city before its next step, which will be to present its 60% plans to city council. I learned a lot. Reporting in Cape Coral. I learned that despite them telling us they're listening to us, they're not hearing. Colton Chavez, Fox 4.